<laughs> All right, oh, I just realized that. for the rest of the morning. I might read a little bit. I might get a couple things done if I'm not tired, but this is why I have no problem helping Brett in the morning because when he is on his way to work, that is when I can, um, this is my downtime. This is my quiet time where I drink coffee and I watch shows or I get a couple things done. Um, and I just wait till the kids get up and then that's when we start our day. So when he gets home from work, that is his downtime, but that's my busy time because that's when I am, you know, getting the kids in the shower, you know, if they have homework, if it's, if they're in school, that's when we get homework done, that's when I cook dinner, I do dishes, I pick up the house a little bit, um, I get the kids ready for bed, and that's a lot of the time why, if I am getting the kids ready for bed, that is why Brett is not in a lot of those clips because he's exhausted from working all day and he's probably sleeping in his chair or just relaxing and that's his his downtime. So it's like we kind of alternate our, our downtime. Mine's in the morning, his is in the evening. And so, I don't know, this, um, this uh, routine just works for us. I am so excited to start doing this. There's a couple there's a couple different things that I need to be working on and one of them is um, my friend's wedding decor. I have to make a couple signs for her. So that's that is on my my top priority list because her wedding is coming up. The second thing is I don't have hardly any fall decor. 90% of the fall decor I can just make myself so I figured why not start a little bit early and make some fall decor being signs um, wreaths and um, this little like it's it's almost like a table like a bench and the back of it is a door which I have a ton of old doors and old screen doors that came with the house when we bought it they are in the loft of my garage so a lot of little things um on top of all that we're trying to finish the tree house and then um <clears throat> i also want to get started once i get a good grasp on fall decor because fall is going to be here 
before we know it and I had like nothing to decorate the house with. And then my son's birthday is also coming up in September, which I'm a planner and I need to get going on that. I think he wants to have a Lego themed birthday. Lastly, both of my kids are starting school. Dalton is going to be in second grade and Daylin is going to start kindergarten at that same school. Now starting off, she goes every other day for the first week or two weeks or so. And then starting that second week, I'm pretty sure she goes every day. And the fact that they're not going to be here throughout the day, I'm kind of struggling with it. Anyways, I just wanted to sit down with you for a quick second. So, um, the first project that I'm actually going to get started on is that door for my front porch. Okay. So, let's find an old door. No. Don't even try. Oh my gosh. The change. Look at that. That's how humid it is up here. Holy moly, it's humid. All right, let's make this quick. strip the paint on this door and I don't want it totally stripped um, I put we actually use this when we redid everything in the house when we first moved in this is what I used um, it's a safer paint stripper it doesn't have a strong odor it almost smells almost citrusy um, and it was safe for me to use with my kids in the house and so that I had extras which is why I used it So don't touch that. Okay. Ew. Don't get it on your clothes either um, This I Put this um, Gel on there and it's gonna settle into the paint and then the paint is almost gonna start to like bubble up and I did it um, You know chunkier in some places. I made it thinner in other places So when I go to scrape it off, it's gonna be more of a chipped paint look but I want to get down to that bare wood so it's like a pretty um, bare wood look with white chipped paint on there. Oh, that's not it. See, that one is very like rustic. That is just a bench, but I am going to do... I think I'm going to do it more like this, how there's that table coming down. I like that. Okay, I think I have more of an idea of what I'm doing. The only issue is that I ran out of thick, big pieces of wood. Most of the time, I don't have to buy anything when I'm trying to make it myself because over the years, I've just collected and saved so much wood. Um, unless it's for like, you know, a specific... Um, like wedding decor stuff like that obviously I have to go buy it but I am having a hard time finding a thick piece of wood for the tabletop so um oh you know what I think Brett has some in his shop I'll have to figure that out when we get back home but the paint that is exactly what it's supposed to start doing so I can start um scraping it and then I have the legs I need to cut those. Anyways, we. It's time to go to the dentist, so we need to get these kids ready to go. And then when we come back home, then I'll be able to finish it up. But once I get started on something, I hate having to stop because now I'm like, the creative juices are flowing. Come on, guys, we gotta go. I don't know. All right, guys, let's go. Yeah. 
blade. Now I got brother and sister. That's how I get the pink puppy. <sighs> All right, we are back in the car from the dentist, and she did so good. My kids do so good um, at dentist appointments, doctor's appointments, that kind of thing. Um, so I never have to worry about them with that, but um, she does have a couple cavities that she has to get filled at the, you know, kid dentist. So um, I already have her appointment for that. So we will just be on our way, on our way back home. All of her in the next like three weeks, all of her um, kindergarten exams are, we're gonna be busy, busy, busy next week or the following weeks, I should say. So we're gonna head back home and then, um, I haven't heard from your dad yet. Usually daddy calls me by now. I haven't heard from him yet. So we're gonna go back home um, and I'm gonna go finish that little. Uh, oh, probably die. Um, I don't know. He, he could still, yeah, he could still be working though. Very easily could be working. I'm gonna, we're gonna go home and then I'm gonna finish that, um, or at least try to do somewhat work on it, work on that little um, door table thing. And then I need to start on dinner also. I try to have dinner at least started, if not totally made, um, by the time Brett gets home. It's just so much easier. All right, guys, I am back in my garage. And this is exactly what this door is supposed to look like. All that peeled paint. So now I can take a little scraper and just start um, peeling at it. And then once it is peeled off, then I can go back through. I don't know if it has to dry or not. Like if, if the wood's still gonna be a little wet, but then I can go back through and sand it and then figure out what I'm gonna do from there. <laughs> on this table I think I'm gonna have to cut the legs down just a little bit because I mean it's hard to tell because that big door is not in front of it but as far as this goes it almost looks a little too small I might even cut the door down and then cut this down that way it's a little bit smaller because that door is just so big I mean really it's the length of, of this door right here um, so I might take some off the bottom. That way it's more of like a, I don't know, that way it's a little bit smaller. So I ended up finding some wood. Brett, a long time ago, found this really cool old, um, I don't know, it was like a wooden chest looking thing. And it, I took it apart because I was going to redo it and I never redid it. So I found the wood for it. And then I used these really big chunky um, nails. That way it still looked, um, I don't know, older, I guess. And so I'm trying to figure out the layout of the top. I think I'm gonna use this and just have it different pieces. So I might have to cut one of them down using this piece, this piece, and this piece. So I think I'm gonna have to cut cut them down a little bit to fit on top of here, but I'm gonna make it flush along here. So I will get that done, and then hopefully by that time, I'm hoping by that time Brett will be home because it's almost seven o'clock already and he's still not home from work. He had to run to, I get distracted by my hair all the time. 
he had to run to the shop to get materials for the next day so I don't know what time he's gonna be getting home but as soon as he's home he needs to show me how to use that pressure washer so yeah I'm gonna try to get this top done and have it all ready because I've talked about making something like this before and he thinks it's a stupid idea. So <laughs> I want to get it done so he can see my vision and see how good it's going to look. And he's going to love it. And he's going to... He's going to love it. He has to love it because I made it. So he, he's forced to like whatever I make. <laughs> Alright, Brett's home and he got the pressure washer working for me. <laughs> guys I just got dinner ready for Brett he went inside he was so filthy so tired so hungry so I got him taken care of and um, the kids are inside with him too they they like to sit inside whenever um, he gets home so what time is it 7:54. Um, about five minutes and I need to go inside so I'm probably gonna stop it here I did want to show you um, I ended up getting the tabletop done. Well, let's see if I can lift that up. I have these um, put together just with some boards, and I was able to fit it in here. <laughs> All right, I just realized that putting those strips of wood on the bottom of this when I set it on here I did not take into consideration this part and so when I put the top of it down those things that I had on there they hit right here which means that it didn't stick out far enough on here and it was not flush back here and they hit here and so so I'm just getting to the point now where I'm like sweaty I'm tired I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm putting it down for tonight. I am gonna go inside because I have yet to eat dinner because I've been out here working on stuff and getting Brett situated. And I'm very tired. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us again. I guess hanging out with me. My kids were hardly in it today. Um, thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you're excited for all of the videos to come, all the DIY stuff, all the stuff I cannot wait, cannot wait to create. Let me know if you want to see anything else, if you want to see any specific videos. So, my phone's ringing. Bye, guys.